Hey, what can I help you with today, Chris? So I'm working on painting some footings today. So I gotta get some coatable roller covers. I need a um, four inch roller frame. And then I'm doing some gutter brackets that are kind of on a roof. I need them to disappear. So I need some bronze spray paint. All right, we got our coatable roller covers right here and our roller frames right there. All right, we got all our primers and our bronze spray paint right over here. Cool, that'll work. All right, you're all set for the day. Cool, thank you very much, dude. So today we're out here at this house working, uh, painting the exterior of the house, doing a big makeover on this house, on the exterior, trying to increase the value by $50,000. And we're gonna be doing a couple fine detail things on this house. One thing is we're gonna be doing the footings. The footings had a bunch of overspray on them. They were discolored from previous painters getting paint on them. And they've been painted multiple times also. They didn't look good. So we're gonna be painting the footings down there so they'll look nice. Another thing is these gutters are mounted on the roof and they got brackets on the roof that are silver. They show up really bad. A simple little thing we're gonna be doing to get rid of those. So some tips doing the fine detailed work on the exterior of this house, trying to increase the value by $50,000. So I started working on these footings down here. I used the shovel just to pull the dirt away because you want to get your paint down below the dirt line. Once it dries, we'll just backfill that dirt. We got drips of paint, we got overspray. We got black overspray, white overspray. We want these footings to look really nice. If you got room for a four inch roller, you definitely want to use a roller. It's a lot faster, a lot easier to do. If you can't roll it, you're just going to have to brush it. But I don't want to get my roller in the dirt, so I'm just going to brush these here. You can see that we got white overspray, we got black overspray. I'm going to cut down to this dirt line. So I'm just using a flat paint. You could use a concrete stain. I've used both over the years. They both work equally well, but you don't need anything expensive. Just want to get it up underneath the lip of the siding there where you can see that white overspray. You know, some painters would paint this white all the way down, but I just, I like my footings to be the color of footings, you know, like a concrete color. So I'm gonna choose something that's similar to the natural color of the concrete. There's a lot of colors that work well. Just grab yourself a fan deck and just put a fan deck up against your footings and just choose a gray that looks similar. You can see we got a bumpy corner here, pretty tight, but we wanna get a nice line up in there to make it look a lot better. Using a roller has a tendency to push it down in the holes a lot better than a brush. So it's good to roll and back brush it if you can. Just Then I'm gonna back brush it. Got a little dirt on my roller there. So I'm just gonna back brush this here after I'm done. And you can see that looks a lot better now. No more white overspray, no more black overspray. Try to fill this in a little bit better. You could, you know, spray the house first, get over spray on the footings if you knew you were gonna paint them. And then you wouldn't have to shield them, shield the footings. Or you can do the footings first and then 
sealed it, whatever you, know, you prefer. Back here with the footings a little bit taller, it'll be a little bit faster because I could actually roll it. I typically do this anytime a painter, previous painters, have gotten overspray on the footings or the footings have been painted the same color as the house. I really like my footings to be footings. And so we typically you know, paint them, like I say, a concrete color. There's a couple colors out there, maybe beige is one of them I use quite a bit. Flat is flat will look more like concrete too versus a satin. We use satin on the side of the house and satin on the doors, but if I'm doing footings, I want to just do them a flat paint. And I never use an expensive paint either. I just use an inexpensive exterior flat paint. So here's these silver brackets up here. All we're doing is just taking some nine inch paper, putting some paper on the sides of it real fast. They were just spraying this bracket and right now it shows up silver really bad. And this oil rub bronze is a way better match to this roof. So if you got a black roof, you can spray in black. You know, it just depends on what color your roof is. And you don't have to be exact with your masking, just get it real close. And I'm just gonna hold it down to the window, just hold my mask in. And this little rub bronze covers fast and easy. I don't need to wait for it to dry. Going to put my mask in, just like that. Now you don't see it. Simple little detail tip to make your job look a lot better when it's done. Um, coatable roller, four inch roller frames. I need a. Um... <laughs> hey Chris, what can I help you with today? So I gotta get a, some coatable roll. Coatable. <laughs> <laughs> right.